for watching. In this video, we want to do uh, a discussion on marginal resource cost. Marginal resource cost. Now, marginal resource cost kind of uses the ideas of marginal cost and marginal product kind of mashed together. So let's go back and remember marginal cost. Now, that's a great. Uh, function, you know, we use marginal revenue and marginal cost to determine the profit maximization, loss minimization output point for any firm in any market structure. But marginal cost is very general. Marginal cost tells us, well, this is how much our total cost changes when we change quantity. And now that's a great function, but it, it, it doesn't tell us where did that cost come from, from what inputs did that cost come from. It just says, hey, your output changed and your cost changed. Marginal product or marginal physical product is the change in quantity divided by the change in labor. Now this again, it's a little bit more specific, but this is all in units of output and units of input. These are the goods and services our firm is producing and this is the factor production labor. Now we can rewrite this to be the change in total product divided by the change in some factor of production. That way we can do it with any factor of production. So MP, a little bit more specific, it says, hey, this is how much your output, your total product changed when you change this particular factor of production, but, but this is all in units of output and units of input. There's, there's no money in this function. So now that we've reviewed those ideas about marginal cost and marginal physical product, Let's take a look at marginal resource cost. So your book uses this notation, marginal resource cost. And it tells us that the marginal resource cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in some factor of production. So marginal resource cost, it's the added cost from the added resource. Marginal resource cost, it's the added cost from the added resource. It's the change in the cost when we change a resource. So what marginal resource cost does for us is it says, hey, this is how much your cost changed because your output changed from a particular factor of production. So it attributes that cost and output to a particular factor of production. So looking at the numerator here, we see that we've got the change in total cost. Now, that's the same numerator as in marginal cost. And looking down here at the denominator, we have the change in the factor of production, and that's the same denominator in marginal physical product. So what we can do is if we write this out, we can say, well, marginal cost is the, the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. And we see that marginal product is the change in total product divided by the change in a factor of production. So that's my marginal cost and that's my marginal product. And you know that this total product is just another way of saying quantity. Total product is quantity. So we can just do a little bit of cancellation and we see that marginal cost times marginal product is your marginal resource. Cost. So marginal resource cost is a super helpful uh, function for us in microeconomics. Back when we were just comparing marginal revenue and marginal cost, that was the profit maximization, loss minimization output point for a firm. In these later chapters, when we look at resource demand, we'll be comparing marginal revenue product, the added revenue from the added output, marginal revenue product, and marginal resource cost, the, the added cost from the added resource, we'll be comparing MRP and MRC to find the profit maximization loss minimization input point for the firm. So what we're doing is we're combining ideas to say not only can we find the optimal output, but we can say how many factors of production we will need to employ to achieve that optimal output. MRP equals MRC. So thanks for watching and we'll talk more about combining these functions to solve problems in chapters 10 and 11. Thanks a bunch.